Hi everyone, I'm Gina Sunderland, Food and Consumer Relations Specialist with Manitoba Chicken Producers. Welcome to our National Chicken Month Facebook Live Premier Watch Party. We are so excited to have all of you join us and I am extremely happy to be joined here by one of our very own farmers, Rachel, and she is going to take you on an exclusive tour of her chicken farm and answer your top 10 chicken farming questions. And you guys are gonna be the first one to see this video. So we are so excited to share it with you. We literally filmed it just a few weeks ago. So it is an exclusive watch party video. And the great news is after the video, Rachel and I are gonna be here live to answer any of your additional questions. Before we launch into that video, I am gonna have Rachel introduce herself and share a little bit about what she does as a Manitoba chicken farmer. Yeah, so as Gina said, my name is Rachel and I am a third generation broiler chicken farmer uh, where me and my parents and my brothers farm here in southern Manitoba. I'm really excited today to answer your guys' top questions and just engage with you guys and take you a tour on my chicken farm. Yes, it's a beautiful farm, Rachel. It's been such a pleasure to have the opportunity to go there and meet your family and see how all of you raise chickens for all of us to enjoy. Now, of course, this is a party. It is National Chicken Month throughout September. We're gonna bring you some great content throughout the month. And a party wouldn't be a party if we didn't have great prizes. So we have three $75 grocery gift cards up for grabs. All you have to do is share a comment in the comment box or ask Rachel a question or myself a question. And at the end, we will return to answer those questions. When the event is over, we will be sending three of you lucky participants direct messages that you have been a successful winner. And that will allow you to go this long weekend into a grocery store, buy some delicious, nutritious Manitoba chicken and some ingredients to make some of the fantastic recipes that we have on our manitobachicken.ca website. So now it is time to sit back, relax, grab some snacks, grab your bowl of popcorn. I know Rachel and I are going to be doing that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and enjoy a tour of Rachel's farm as she answers the top 10 chicken farming questions that we received from all of you. Rachel and I'm a proud third generation chicken farmer. I currently farm with my parents and my two brothers. Uh, we have a mixed grain farm and a broiler chicken farm, meaning we raise chicken for meat. Today I'm really excited to answer your top 10 questions I get as a chicken farmer. Which brings us to my first, our first question. Right now I'm currently standing outside our barn, which the first question is, why do we raise chickens inside or indoors? Um, the first reason would be climate. In Manitoba today is a beautiful day here in Manitoba. However, in wintertime it can get really cold and we have all the different kind of weather in between. Inside our barn they are climate controlled, meaning we can control the temperature, the humidity, we can monitor all those lighting and all those different kinds of things inside the barn. We also can provide them with fresh bedding, with uh, um, fresh water, and all those great things all, the, all year round. The second reason why we raise them indoors is for predators. Coyotes, eagles, those animals also like to eat chicken too. So we want to keep them safe from, safe from those animals by keeping them indoors. And the third reason is disease. We want to keep our birds healthy and safe throughout the flock. And by keeping them indoors, we are able to do that. We change our boots before we go into the barn, we wash our hands, we make sure we limit the amount of visitors coming to the barn for biosecurity reasons to keep those birds healthy throughout the entire flock. And now I'm gonna take you guys inside to see my 11 day old chickens and answer your other top questions. So free run means they can run anywhere and everywhere throughout a spacious barn. Free range means that they can go outside. Right now I'm standing in my barn and it is a free run system, meaning they can run anywhere and everywhere throughout the barn. Currently in Manitoba, we don't have any registered free range producers due to the reasons I had said in the first question with climate, predators, and diseases. The maximum number of birds inside the barn is strictly regulated through Chicken Farmers of Canada Animal Care Program to make sure that the birds have lots of space in the barn as well as spread their wings and move around. Mm -hmm. 
chickens eat a grain-based diet with protein, fats, minerals, and vitamins. We work with an animal nutritionist to make sure the chickens have the most balanced diet. In Manitoba, we use wheat as their grain base, as well as soybeans, canola. We have a little bit of fats, minerals, and vitamins. On a uh, side note, a lot of labels in grocery stores say that the chicken is grain fed. In fact, across Canada, all the chicken is grain fed. Chickens drink water just like you and me. They use these water lines to get their water. Now these water lines run throughout the barn just like the feed pans do so the chickens can eat and drink throughout the barn anytime. Now how it works is they peck this silver tab underneath the water line here and this allows the water to come out. They stop pecking at it, the water stops. This way the water is always clean and fresh. Adding hormones and steroids is not allowed in chicken farming. It has actually been banned since the 1960s and is illegal across Canada. Chickens grow at a natural, healthy rate due to genetics and nutrition, as well as us farmers monitoring the barn conditions, making sure the chickens are comfortable throughout the barn. Also, there's something I want to correct, an urban legend that chicken is raised so big that they are crippled by their own weight. This is simply not true. All chicken in Canada is raised to a natural, healthy weight. There are no factory farms in Canada. In Manitoba, 97% of farms are family owned and operated just like mine. In Canada, over 90% of farms are, are family owned and operated. Being a registered producer requires us to follow strict national food safety and animal care programs, which requires us to get an annual audit or check to make sure we are following these programs. This allows Canadians to raise some of the highest quality chicken across the world. Yes, Manitobans and Canadians across the country have access to fresh local chicken all year round. Because we raise our birds indoors, this allows us to supply restaurants and grocery stores with fresh chicken all year round. Not all chicken is given antibiotics, and if they are, it is for the health of the bird as well as for food safety. Only healthy birds enter the marketplace. Regular testing is conducted by Canadian Food Inspection Agency to test for antibiotic residue in chickens. There has not been an issue with antibiotic residue in chicken in decades. This is a really important question. Our industry has done incredible work to advance our farming practices using technology and innovation. In the last 40 years, we have been able to reduce our carbon footprint by 37%. We can reduce our water usage as well as using renewable resources. On our farm, the things that we do to help the environment is we use the wheat straw that we harvest from our fields. We uh, bale that and bring it into the barn as bedding for our birds. We then, at the end of the flock, take it out of the barn and spread that bedding, which has then turned to manure, and spread it back on our fields as great fertilizer for our, plant, our, our crops. We also use the wheat that we harvest and sell it to the feed mill to be put into our chicken feed. Really, nothing on our farm is wasted. Farmers like myself, my family, and other family farms, we care about our animals and the land. Our common goal is to leave our farm and the land to the next generation in better condition than when we began farming it. The bond I have with my chickens is different than the bond that you have with your pets. These are our livestock. We raise them for meat. Now before I come into the barn, I wear similar color clothing and I knock on the door, make some noise in the front entrance so they know that I'm gonna come into the barn. When I do come in the barn, since I do it multiple times a day, I walk the entire barn to make sure that they have feed, that they have water, that they're comfortable, and just to make sure that they are very well cared for, we have that bond as I am their caretaker. What I love most about being a chicken farmer is being able to raise healthy, 
uh, good quality chicken for your family and for my family to enjoy. I also love working with my family on a day-to-day -day basis, getting the jobs done, all to help provide good chicken quality for you guys to enjoy. My probably most favorite thing to do though is just walk through the barn, be with the chickens, and just enjoy the environment. And I just, I just love being a chicken farmer. Thank you so much for joining us today and I loved answering the questions you guys have asked me as a chicken farmer. If you have any more questions, please visit our website at manitobachicken.ca. Well, I certainly hope everyone really enjoyed that tour of Rachel's Broiler Chicken Farm that's family owned and operated just like 97% of all of our farmers. And I hope you enjoyed some of the images of our other farm families mm -hmm. that raise chicken for all of you here in Manitoba. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And now Rachel and I are really excited to move on to the question period. So a lot of you have shared some fantastic questions with us, and I'm just going to get them on my phone. And we really, really appreciate how inquisitive you are and how much, like a lot of Canadians, want to know how their food is produced. And we love the fact that Manitobans support local and support farmers and National Chicken Month is just such a wonderful way to celebrate all of our 124 broiler farmers raising chicken for meat for all of us as well as our 23 hatching egg farmers and Rachel can maybe share a little bit about that with all of you too because we did receive a question about that. So now I'm just going to pick up my phone and take a, a closer look at all of the questions that you guys have shared with us. Thank you so much. There's so many and so many good ones. Okay, so Brenda has asked a question and mm -hmm. she wants to know how much time do the chickens get to go outside? And this is a really, really important yeah, question because my goodness, it's nice here in Manitoba, <laughs> but it's not always this nice no, here. No, it's not. No, we're very fortunate. We get nice summers, but we don't get nice winters. So right. actually across Canada, all chickens are cage free. So they're all able to run around. Now, not always able to go outside. So here in Manitoba, as I said in the video, we only have birds that stay inside, meaning it's a free run system. So if you would produce free range, meaning they can go outside. But right now, my family, we only produce free run birds. And we don't actually have any registered producers right, that yeah. um, operate a free range system where they can go outside. And mm -hmm. Rachel, you did a good job. Uh, I know you shared so much in that video, but you did a really good job of explaining why it's beneficial to raise the chickens mm -hmm. inside and inside those modern, well-ventilated yeah. barns. And maybe just recap briefly about those reasons yeah yeah so as yeah today is a beautiful day but you know we have the cold winter it's coming we all know it's coming we can't get away from it so just climate in general our bur our barns are climate controlled so we can just be in control of the temperature so to give the birds the ideal conditions for them to grow and just be comfortable in as well as predators um, coyotes wolves all those kinds of things they like to chicken too uh, like to eat chicken too so we want to keep them safe as well and the last one is disease. We want to keep our birds healthy because we only uh, bring healthy birds into the marketplace for you guys to enjoy. Exactly. Thanks. Yeah. It's so much information to take in mm -hmm. and it's so great to see your questions and we're so happy to elaborate on the information that was in the video. Okay. So another question we have is from Toby Aaron and she said steroids aren't used at all. And no, we have not given, birds are, it's illegal to give them steroids or hormones actually since the 1960s. So long before my time on this earth, uh, they have been illegal. So yeah, you have no hormones, no steroids in any chicken across Canada. Actually. Right. And you know, really there's so much research and technology and the type of breed of bird. And of course, you know, mm -hmm. that allows those chickens to grow at a nice healthy rate. But of course yeah. we have to hand it to you farmers because it's really the care that you provide with those birds yeah. that they, they are raised at a healthy rate and mm -hmm. they grow quickly and of course the feed so yeah one of the things that you told me you love doing most and I'll let you talk about that yeah sure the birds are healthy I just love being in the barn yeah a lot of things help the grow that we have great feed uh, we work with animal nutritionists to make sure that they're getting the ideal um, 
nutrition for them to grow. Genetics of the bird is really well, has helped them grow as well. Mm -hmm. um, and just our care for us. And we're going in the barns, we're walking through them throughout the day to make sure they're comfortable, have food, have water, and just nice air quality, and just so that they're comfortable throughout the barn. Right, they're happy and healthy. Yeah, and that's a good recipe for success. And mm -hmm. something else that a lot of people don't realize, there's actually a lot of science and technology that mm -hmm. goes yeah. into Manitoba agriculture and into raising chickens. And, and actually, you, you bring a lot of science and background um, Rachel's, Rachel's very humble, but, <laughs> but you can share a little bit about your education and what, you know, has allowed you to be such a successful chicken farmer. Yeah. So, well, I grew up on the farm. So my dad, I have to credit him. He has taught me tons about chicken farming and just, you know, things to do and, and help me become a better chicken farmer as well. Um, but also, uh, after high school, I took a year off, but then I went to university at just here at the U of M. Um, and went into egg, uh, the, the egg diploma program and I graduated there with that and got, went into some of the poultry classes just to further my education and get uh, more information on those things. And it's wonderful. You bring that expertise back to the farm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, each generation brings more to the farming and the technology and advancing the practices. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot to know and yeah. a lot to learn. So yeah. yeah, that's really great. Oh my goodness. There's so many wonderful questions. We'll keep moving along here. Um, so Colette has asked, oh, it <laughs> just jumps. As, as more questions come in, they kind of move quickly here. So do any of the chickens um, not make it into the stores? That's a really good question. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of chickens in your barn. Do they all make it? Or exactly. Yeah. So as a farmer, we know we have the expertise that we know which chickens are healthy and which ones are not. So what we do on a daily basis is make sure we walk through the barn. Yes. And if there are that are not as well, we do remove them from the far, uh, barn because we only let healthy chickens enter the marketplace exactly that's right and that's a lot mm -hmm. of the expertise too of being a farmer being in that mm -hmm. barn knowing what normal healthy activity is calling on a veterinarian yeah. when necessary yeah. yeah we work with lots of industry reps yeah veterinarians to make sure our flocks are healthy uh, before they go to market perfect and Dawn has a question for you what age did you start taking care of chickens Rachel oh boy that's a question um I started probably doing daily chores when I was like seven or eight. Now, my dad was always there to help, right. um, but I was probably in the barn, I think probably when I was like three or four. Right. So, it's kind of like your second home, right? It, yeah, I feel, very, I feel very comfortable in the barn. <laughs> and it's, you've, you've mentioned to me a few times it's really your happy place. You yeah, I, I love being there. It's my, like, away from the people and it's just me and my chickens. So it's, yeah, it's kind Wonderful. of my, my and, and they And they get such great care. Um, so we have a comment from Aletta. Uh, she says, it's so nice to see a young woman in the farming sector. So congratulations, Rachel. I couldn't agree more. Um, oh, so Darlene says, do you send these chickens to the local Winnipeg stores for purchase? Wow. We... We, we do. Sure we do. We sure do. Yeah. So um, a lot of restaurants and a lot of uh, grocery stores, they have Manitoba chicken um, that you can buy and purchase. That's right. So yes, we are extremely fortunate that with our 124 broiler chicken farmers, we are able to supply local chicken to Manitobans in grocery stores and restaurants year round. Mm -hmm. So we are very lucky to have this local source of healthy protein mm -hmm. and it's and so, it's delicious. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's really some of the highest quality chicken uh, yeah. in the entire world. For sure. Yeah. Elmer just says, great job letting the uh, uh, sharing with the public. How our food is grown and that's so true people just yeah. want to know and erica said how can we tell if we are buying local manitoba chicken in the grocery store oh well you can see by our shirts also these is look raised by canadian chicken farmer logo so that is on i know a bunch of retailers yep. are picking up on that and i think restaurants too are picking yes, up on indeed. that so mm -hmm. then you know that it's a locally provided mm -hmm. and grown chicken for you to enjoy Exactly. And thanks for that great question, Erica. So I will share in a comment after as well, too, that we have two main processors here in Manitoba. And right on that label, when you buy your chicken, you can look for a little processor number and it shows that uh, that chicken has been inspected by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. So I will post a little image of that and everyone can check that out on our comments and yes we are so so fortunate to have that local source of manitoba chicken year-round for all of us mm -hmm. to nourish our bodies and of course to enjoy mm -hmm. 
Oh, so Sabrina has asked, what is the oldest a chicken can be to go to market? So can you explain a little bit about the age the chickens are when they go to market? That's yeah. a great question. So there's actually a kind, of, a, a kind of a range. So depending on the market that they're going to, if they're going to restaurants or grocery stores, will depend the size and how long they are in the barn for. Um, restaurants usually get a smaller bird, so that's usually between 28 to 30 days. Um, for them to reach the target weight that the restaurants want the bird to be for the size for them to be um if it's going to a restaurant or sorry a grocery store or for like a whole bird when you get your like rotisserie chicken or something like that it'll be more of a 32 to 35 day bird depending on the size that you're looking for so on average between 28 and 35 days the birds are in the barn for yeah, and it's because of those genetics that they can grow at that mm -hmm. rate and the really nutritious diet. And this mm -hmm. is another question about what chickens eat. Um, Janice has asked uh, about GMO feed and if there's risk cons to consumers. Well, we don't have any GMO chicken feed, um, but uh, that is a really good plant science question and an, an important question. And uh, if you go to Crop Life Canada, you can find out a lot of information about GMO, but we do not uh, have GMO chicken feed. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and we did talk, there's another question about how the poultry production impacts environment and mm -hmm. I think maybe you can share a little bit more about how you guys really don't do. waste anything on your farm and what yeah. you do. Okay. Yeah, so you know our industry has done really well in the last 40 years that we've been able to reduce our carbon footprint by 37% which is pretty phenomenal I think. Um, and just as a, a being a young farmer, you know, we want to help the environment. We, we want to take care of it. So things we do on our farm, I briefly talked about it on the on the video, um, is we're reusing things, right? So the bedding that we used for the birds to be comfortable on, that comes from our field of wheat um, that we harvested um, uh, just earlier in the year. And we use that as the bedding, the stalks of the wheat plants, and then we actually end up taking the wheat seeds. We sell those to our local feed mill and it puts makes it into the feed for the chickens to eat again. The grain-based yeah, feed. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And then also once at the end of the flock, when it's just the manure left in the barn, we clean that up and we spread it on our fields and that is great source for nutrition for our yeah. plants, right? It's, it's a natural plant a fertilizer, fertilizer, which is exactly. very, very good for the plants. Yeah, natural organic fertilizer. And that's a really great point too. Between each flock, you guys completely clean out and yeah. wash down that barn yeah. and have it stand for, you can explain a little bit more about that. Yeah, so what we do, so once the birds have been taken out of the barn, then we take the manure out of the barn um, and then we wash it down. So that's a, a good long day of with holding on to the pressure washer. We wash it all down, we disinfect it, make sure it's nice and clean and then we have it down sit down or a downtime we call it uh, where there's no birds in the barn just to give the barn a rest and just prepare for the next flock so usually it's about 14 to 19 days we have, where we have no birds in the barn perfect excellent such such great information that you just wouldn't know unless you got to speak to a chicken <laughs> farmer we're gonna wrap this up in a minute but we have a really great question and sometimes we get this a lot and I did uh, do a Facebook live a little while ago with a consumer relations representative with Manitoba egg farmers but can you explain a little bit about how you get those chicks in the barns and that the chickens that you raise for meat aren't the same chickens that lay the eggs that we make on a Sunday yes. morning or Saturday morning for breakfast. Yes. <laughs> so the eggs that you eat do not come from my chickens from my barn. Our birds are strictly for meat only. So, but how our birds get into the barn, there's yeah. kind of a back process that starts. So pretty much we go back to a broiler breeder farm, meaning it's the, it's the barn where we have hens and roosters together. They fertilize an egg. Once this egg is fertilized, it gets collected on a daily basis, then brought to a place called a hatchery. Right. And at the hatchery, the, egg, the fertilized egg goes into an incubator, so a nice really warm room um, for 21 days. And on day 21, the chicks hatch out of the egg. Then they get brought to uh, our farms on climate controlled truck trucks because those little chicks, they like it nice and warm, like hot, hot, like 33 degrees Celsius. So when, you know, we've had a lot of hot weather this summer. <laughs> yeah. The chicks love that they hot love weather. So um, they get brought on these nice warm trucks and brought into our barns and that's how we get our chickens. Fantastic, Rachel. It's such a great story of enjoying and producing healthy local food. And so before we wrap things up, we have another great question. What do you love most about being a chicken farmer, Rachel? I mean, this is your month. This is National <laughs> Chicken Month. It's it's an opportunity to thank all of the chicken farmers across Canada and right here in Manitoba. And what do you love most? 
Uh, what I love most, well, we kind of talked about it before. I yeah. just love being in the barn. Right. Honestly, I love working with my family, um, being a family run farm, like a lot of other Manitoba farmers. Um, I get to be with my family, we get to work together, get the job done to provide good quality chicken for you guys to enjoy. Our family loves to eat chicken as well. So do we. Um, and yeah, just being in the barn, I love walking in the barn with the birds throughout the day, you know. Sometimes, you know, you just grab a, a pail or a chair and you sit in the barn and you just watch the birds. They're very entertaining and very, yeah. you know, very... They like to move And then around. you know they're healthy. You know, yeah. they're doing all the things they should do. Yeah. So I'd love to thank everyone for mm -hmm. tuning in, especially a huge thank you thank to you. our special guest, one of our very own Manitoba chicken producers, farmers, Rachel. And before we close off, of course, happy National Chicken Month to all of our farmers and to all of you. Mm -hmm. And a special little treat I have for everyone to thank you for tuning in. We have this beautiful education booklet. It's called Now You're Cooking with Manitoba Chicken. In this booklet, we answer a lot of farming facts. We have great food safety tips, how to use a meat thermometer. We also have some terrific recipes. So for anyone that would like their very own copy, send me a direct message right through Facebook with your address and your name, and I will be very happy to put one of these in the mail to each of you that requests one. And a huge thank you to everyone for tuning in, taking thank time you. out of your busy get back to school kind of uh, fall <laughs> evening. We really appreciate the interest and we are so proud to mm -hmm. be able to offer Manitoba chicken to all of you. And thank you for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you again yes. soon. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Gina. Have a great evening, everyone. Take care.